hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see the hands-on lab 4 for solution architect which is configuring high availability in your amazon vpc as you know aws provides services and infrastructure to build more reliable fault tolerant and highly available systems in the cloud so the fault tolerance is a system's ability to remain in operation even if some of the component that we use to build the system in case if that goes fail and uh, high availability is not about uh, preventing system failure but uh, the ability of the system to recover quickly when if there is any failure so as an aws solutions architect uh, it is important to design our systems to be highly available and fault tolerant when needed so here we can see uh, some of the following objectives so after completing this lab we should be uh, able to you know you should be able to do this following i create an amazon ec2 auto scaling group and uh, register it with an application load balancer spanning across multiple availability zones and create a highly available amazon aurora db cluster and modify an amazon aurora db cluster to be highly available and uh, modify an amazon vpc configuration to be highly available using the redundant nat gateways and then confirm your application and database are highly available by simulating some failures okay so in the task one we will just uh, review the uh, setup that uh, did already so uh, I have you know created this already for uh, this lab purpose so like uh, we have created the Amazon uh, VPC which is 10.0.0.0 slash 20 as you can see in this image so if you are not sure like to create this vpc you can uh, you know refer the previous video and uh, you can create this following things so uh, and also public and uh, private subnet in two availability zone and uh, an internet gateway associated with the public subnet and a NAT gateway in one of the public subnet and an application load balancer which is deployed across the two public subnets to receive and forward incoming application traffic and an amazon ec2 instance in one of the private subnet which is running a simple inventory tracking application and an amazon aurora db cluster containing a single db instance in one of the private subnet to store some inventory data okay so from the uh, aws management console you can you know search with the vpc in the um, aws search bar okay and uh, you can click on your vpcs here you can see the lab vpc which is already available so you can click on subnet and uh, here we can see that uh, there are some subnet available which is created already okay so uh, some of these subnets are associated with the lab vpc so you can just uh, expand this vpc column and you can see that uh, this public subnet 2 which is associated with the lab vpc and similarly for uh, public subnet 1 and uh, there are two subnet for private which is associated with the lab vpc and to see some more information about uh, the subnet uh, you can click on any one of the subnet for example public subnet 1 and uh, then you can see the details below and uh, here on the uh, you know uh, left hand side 
okay so it's uh, here like uh, just click on the uh, route table and under the routes uh, you can see there are two routes so the first entry that specify you know the traffic design within the uh, vpc you know the classes uh, the uh, ipv4 cider range which is mentioned uh, 10.0.0.0 slash 20 which is routable within the uh, vpc which is you know local and uh, the second uh, destination as you can see of uh, the traffic destined for the internet so which is uh, routed to the internet gateway as you can see the target here okay and uh, next uh, if we can click on the uh, network acl here you can define the network access control list associated to this subnet and uh, currently this rules uh, you know permit all traffic in and around of the subnet but if you want you can further restrict the traffic by modifying the uh, you know network acl or using the security groups okay and uh, you can click on uh, internet uh, gateway okay so here you can click on internet gateway from the left hand side and uh, here we can see that uh, an internet gateway called lab ig which is you know already associated to the lab vpc and uh, next uh, under the security click on the security group and uh, here you can select the inventory alb and this security group you know permits the here you can see the inbound rules and the outbound rules so this security group which control incoming traffic to the application load balancer and uh, under if you click on this inbound uh, rules the security group permit uh, inbound web traffic so this is the security group that we are talking about and uh, it permit the web traffic on port 80 from everywhere as you can see sources everywhere and uh, outbound rules by default you know the security group which will allow all outbound traffic However, we can modify these rules if required. Okay, and uh, next you can select uh, the inventory app. Okay, and uh, if you can click on this inbound rules, this will only permit port 80 and you can see the source which is only to the security group that we have you know provided and you can click on this outbound rule and uh, here by default the security group allow all traffic okay and next you can click on the inventory db this is used to control incoming traffic to the database and uh, here under the outbound rule by default this security group allow all traffic and uh, we can click on this uh, inbound rules the security group 
permit only the MySQL port number 3306 MySQL Aurora from the application server to the security group. Okay, next we'll go to EC2 instance. Okay, you can click on the instances. And there is a app server instance which is running already. So it has a simple hypertext uh, preprocessor application, you know, that tracks the inventory in the database. So, so we have uh, you know selected the server, and uh, here you can you know click on the action, and go to the instance uh, setting, and choose the edit user data. Okay, so here we can copy the uh, entire content of the current user data using this icon okay and uh, you can just uh, keep it in a text okay so next we'll look at the uh, load balancer configuration so you can type uh, ec2 and go back to the ec2 page And uh, here you can look for the target groups. Okay, click on the target groups. And uh, here we'll select the inventory app target group. And uh, here we can see more details uh, under the bottom of this page. And uh, here you can click on target tab. So the application load balancer that forward the uh, incoming request to all target on the list here. Okay, so next in the uh, left hand side, you can click on load balancers. And uh, you can select the uh, inventory load balancer. And here you can see the details about the load balancer. Okay, so next we'll you know open the simple PHP inventory application in a web browser. So uh, for that, uh, you can just open the uh, you know load balancer that uh, inventory the endpoint. Uh, so the DNS of the load balancer and uh, when you create them, you should be having this detail. So uh, for this case, I am using these details and uh, then you can just click on save. Okay, so you can just leave this uh, inventory application web browser tab open while you know we continue with the remaining task. We might you know uh, return back to this uh, task later. So we have uh, you know finished uh, you know uh, reviewing all the resources uh, that was created already in the you know uh, AWS uh, the VPC environment. And uh, we have successfully, you know, provided the inventory application. Okay, so that's it uh, in this task and uh, we'll, you know, continue the next task in the other video. Thank you.